Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the return of the vlogs. Oh, I've missed them. Hello there. Welcome back to the channel. When you cast let it play away, you know that means I do an overnight stay vlog. Today we head down to London, the capital, to take on Fulham tomorrow in what I expect to be quite a highly competitive game now. I'm not telling you it just yet, but Eddie Howe's put very good news out today, so I'm expecting Newcastle to have a really competitive game tomorrow. But yes, uh, today we got the overnight stay vlog. Now, before we even got onto a train today, I've already made a major mistake. I'll tell you about it shortly, but I've essentially screwed myself. But yes, if you're new around here, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well. Every single way match this season, we will do. And yeah, that's about it. Enough of me stand outside to start the rain now. So let's head on into Central Station. I'll show you some immediate problems. This year is the first major problem for the Castle fans more. So the trains are off completely throughout the full day. So if you want to get a train down to the game, you've got to go today and come back on the Sunday. So that's two nights down in London now. Ready to stay two nights down in London. I'll tell you now, it's not cheap. So yes, that's the first major problem there now. Brighton and Palace had this problem, but they actually postponed the game in the Premier League because of it, but Newcastle, Fulham goes ahead, so yeah, fans have got different opinions on that. But yes, tomorrow, fans have either got to go down in car, bus or plane, so yeah, no trains tomorrow at all, so that is a major problem for fans. Now, as I said in my intro, I made a big mistake today, so pretty much I'm travelling down to London now, and I haven't booked any hotels like that, it's so bad, because the problem being that Fulham's in West London, so... The hotels one are expensive too. There's not many hotels around Fulham itself, so I wasn't sure which one to go to. So in the end, um, I haven't decided what hotel I'm going to stay at. So now I'm going to have a book one. I said it's going to be really expensive, or I'm going to have a book one that's no any at Fulham. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do this one yet. I'm really sort of complex. But yeah, that is a big mistake. You should never ever do it where you should always be organised and prepared. I did not do either of those that it's going to cost me today. Either in expenses or in my overall experience. So yeah, I'll uh, let you know shortly what I end up doing. But that is a big, big mistake. That's when it's happening this week, actually in London. The NFL is on now. I'm not much of a Vikings fan, to be honest, more of a New York Giants if I had to pick an NFL team. But yeah, uh, they're playing at Tottenham Stadium, I believe, this weekend. So there's an NFL fiend bus. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you good? So heading down at the underground tube now, so I actually need to get to Brentford for where my hotel is, so... I mean, well Brentford's on the west side anyway, near Fulham, so... If I really wanted to, I could walk back to the gate mall, which I don't want to do, but... I always make sure that it's walkable for some games, because you never know the cheapest trains, anything can happen really, so... Yeah, I've got to go on the Victoria line now, so that is the light blue one. We've got to go all the way to the west end of London. It's time to show you my VIP room. Just remember, this is the most expensive hotel we've ever stayed in. Does it live up to the expectations? Let's find out. So we're heading straight away. I'll show you the bathroom first off. So one thing I always check in the bathrooms is a good shower head. I think Liverpool is probably the worst example. I went to a shower head and it was just bad. Like really, really bad. So straight away, two shower heads there. Good. Good amount of space. Hello. So that's my toilet down there. I like the bathroom design to be fair and what you can see from the room straight is how wide it is so there's my bed love that bed stand mine that's my robe there adam p likes his bathroom so that's a gg for me just behind me is the fridge down there so got to see so a little bit of a hidden area there but again i think fridges are really handy when you bring your crates along as well as that we've got my little table down there that's my little conference table so this one i'll bring back some girls later on you know i'm gonna sit down next and we'll talk about business essentially so uh yeah that's again gg for me we have got room service in here we have our own room service i'm not gonna bother ordering anything on like the portugal one because well we've got two sandwiches three pizzas and two curries that's all i can order i mean what, what's the point i can order about two things so yeah, it's mainly for your drinks, but I mean, you would just get your own drink anyway, so I don't get why you'd want room service just to get some drinks. Couple of charger ports there. Uh, we've got, I mean, I take, we've got Sky, there's a Sky remote there, so I take, we've got the good TV channels, I'll have a look at that shortly. I'll be real, yes, this is probably the best room I've ever stayed in, to be honest. I think how the space, is, especially the space, is really wide, so it's just what you want in the room. 
I mean, no matter what I did today, it was going to be extremely expensive. So I suppose at least I got myself a good room. But yes, uh, this is definitely a good room, to be fair. Back in pre season, I proved to you guys that I could use the Force. I can use Jedi mind tricks. I said in my previous video that Master Yoda has been texting my phone. He's in my DMs texting me about these Jedi tips and tricks. Now, one thing I didn't say actually is that Obi Wan Kenobi is a fan of the channel. He watches the videos and he watches the training ground vlogs. So I just want to say that now. Because when I made that video and I showed proof that I could use the force, a lot of you guys in the comment section on social media questioned my credibility. Well, I thought today, you know, I've got no opportunity, you know, different hotel, different countries, no, there's no trickery going on here. I'm here to show you guys, once again, I can use the force. I just want you guys, at the end of the day, to believe me. I'm showing you proof, just believe the proof. The proof is in the pudding. But yeah, this is the end of the debate after this. I can use the force. I'm going to show you now. You guys laughed at me in that last video. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? Watch this, watch this. So as you can see here, we have a screen. Just a, a screen we can't see through it at all. Look, I can't see anything through it. I can use the force to actually make this see through so we can see into my bedroom from the power of my hand. So yeah, that's what we got to prove. So anyway, let's get the condition now. Pretty good, the hands together. I've got to have the right mindset. Okay, okay. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, look at that. I've got somebody, Chris, there. My favorite. Yum, yum, yum. How did I do that? Wow. What a trick that is. I mean, for example, you know, a couple of people will tell you, you can just watch each other when you're having a shower. Listen, the Jedi main tricks, nobody else can do that. Like, show me an hour and you cast that YouTube up and do that. You just, you can't do it, you can't do it. How big is this car park? I'm really intrigued to see. Oh my days. Oh my God, I can't believe how big it is. That's actually huge. It just goes on and on and on. So we'll go down here, we'll have a look. Wow, I tell you what, that is a huge car park. Holy smokes, I think. How is it so big? As for the gym now, we've got a couple of treadmills there. This is the kind of one I like here. So this one, I'm working your knees quite a bit. As well as I've got a couple of bikes down here. A lot of arm work around the corner. We've got some of those massive boards. So I've got no idea how we're supposed to do with those ones, actually. And down there, we've got all the dumbbells. So I think later on, I think the gym, as far as I'm aware, is actually open 24 hours. So I can pretty much come here, do an hour session, whatever I want. But for now, though, I do a couple of demonstrations for the video and then we head to the pool afterwards. Anyhow, today in this press conference has stated that Alex St. Maxman and Chris Wood are both going to be last minute decisions in the team, so chances are they won't travel down with the squad, but there's a possibility they might not get in the squad at all tomorrow. Whereas it's confirmed that Callum Wilson and Bruno are both in the squad tomorrow, whereas Essac has been completely ruled out. Fulham are a good opposition team, and it's going to be hard to break them down. But good test of all, and I'm expecting a good result. Ooh. Ooh. So this is the pool section in the hotel. Just look at that backdrop wall of fish, really nice scenery. Wow, look how good that water looks. It's got a good little hammock chairs over there. There's some sauna rooms as well. I need to double check there's no one in them. There's a nice little sauna room back here as well, actually. Tell me in the comments section, guys, how long can you last in the steam room? For me, I can do about one minute. I can't handle the heat in here. I can't even enter a steam room, so they're going to be starting them. But yeah, I'll probably sit down for about one minute and then leave. Can't even see. There we are. I thought to this pool, it's quite good actually. So this pool is actually open to 10 o'clock at night, so I think it opens at six in the morning, so you've got a lot of time to spend in that pool if you want to. Now for me, uh, I mean, last time I used the pool was the one in Austria, so it just feels good to be in some water again, an actual pool environment, so fortunately it, it's very good, uh, it's the first time I've used it, first time I've actually seen the pool in any of my hotels in the UK, so this one definitely has everything to it, and as I said before, it's up to 10 o'clock at night, so listen, get a couple hours in the air, you can't see no of that, can you? So yeah, uh, impressions on this pool, very good. Open sesame! Fresh shape for a fresh win tomorrow. So, what do I honestly think for the Fulham match? Well, 
I think we should be going out to try and win, to be honest. I feel like we're maximum back. I think he'll be on the bench. I think we'll start Wilson and Bruno. And we should be trying to win the game. There's no reason why we shouldn't be trying to do that. I know Fulham's had a great start of the season, but I feel like they're not going to keep it up full season. Or at some point, they're going to drop off. I'm hoping Newcastle can be the kind of the start of that. But it's important that we try and win the game because one five one record this season. I think we're playing well, but the results aren't showing. The results are showing us as like a as an okay team. But I think we have been playing good football. The majority of the games, I think, we've been the better team, regardless of how well or how bad we play in those matches. So. It's now time we start to pick up those results. No more of this, this blame VAR, let's blame this, let's blame that. Let's actually score goals and win games. We're not scoring enough goals, that's why we are winning games. So yeah, that has to change and it's hopefully going to change them all. As for my thoughts on this hotel, it's probably the best all-round hotel I think I've been to in the UK. The room's amazing, definitely the best room. I'm a really big fan of this room. As for the hotel itself, I'm not too sure if it's the best hotel. I remember going to Southampton last season where I was in the cricket stadium. That was an amazing hotel. So, there's a couple of good ones to compete with, but I do really like this hotel. And uh, now, as for some problems for it, uh, I haven't shown the outside of the hotel, but essentially it's like next to a motorway. I mean, the location is not, not the greatest, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, as well as, uh, obviously, as I said in the video, prices are expensive, but that's mainly because I'm an idiot and decided to book it last minute. I mean, that's just bad preparation for me, but I just wasn't sure where I was going to stay, to be honest, it was just, I don't know, it was just frazzling my head and I kind of forgot about it, so yeah, big mistake on my behalf, don't do that at all, yeah, it will cost you big time. So yeah, uh, all in that, really good hotel, definitely recommend this one, so I'm very happy with that. I'll be straight in that pool tomorrow, in that sauna room, make sure you get the free points, otherwise it's going to be a depressing session for me. Anyway guys, take care, thank you for watching, and yes, I will see you all in the next one.